Okay, so we've looked at Edit Club for the club owners, um, for our club coaches out there. Um, some great functionality there for setting up teams and setting up your club and getting your coaches uh, into position to deliver some excellent uh, football coaching education. Um, now we're going to look at how you edit teams. So again, this will be in the panel here on the dashboard, view all clubs and teams or clubs and teams on the left hand side navigation. Now, as I'm a club owner, it defaults to the club. If you're a team owner, it will default to the team. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and have a look at my clubs and teams. I'm going to pick a team which I can edit, um, and I'll use this test team down here. So I've got, um, I've got my management panel for my team, which is the edit panel here. I can do other things like I can change the... Um, address of the team, so um, so we can put different things in here. Uh, we can change the address um, so that we can share our training ground. So I can put, for example, in here I can say training ground and click update and it will save it. I can put my age group, um, a, a bio information about the team, so uh, Okay, um, and update. So all of this information, every time I um, every time I update it, it saves against my team profile. So I can go and have a look at what my team homepage looks like. So this is the homepage that your your parents and and um, their families can find, so that they can find a bit of information about the about the teams. It'll tell you who the coach is. And it'll also tell you where the training ground is, so that it's very easy for you to go and find that. Um, all the bio information. Um, but what is really important about teams, and, and especially with the um, with the season plans, is that we need to get our players in there. So, same process as with editing clubs. I go in and I add a player. Um, and let's just make up a, an email address. Hit add, uh, and I can send my invite out. Um, and that what that does is, if, if the player isn't found in the database, then um, it will add that player as a as a player in my team, and it will send an email invitation out to the player so that you can, so that they can verify their email address and then they will be able to access all of the resources that you share with them as a team manager um, or as, a, as one of the coaches. So it's really important that you add your team members in. Now obviously for um, those of you who manage players under the age of 13, um, you need to make sure that you're adding the parents email address in so that you can start to share the coaching information with the parents and, and with the season plans allowing the players to see what the next coaching session is going to be, it's a really great way of um, sharing information and up upping the amount of knowledge. In addition to that, players can see all of the folders that you create with the skills content, so if you want to set them homework, you can do so. Um, but it's really important that they're in your team in order to do that. If they're not in your team, they won't be able to see any of the information that you share with them. Okay, so that's a quick overview of, um, of how to manage your team. Um, once you do that, your team homepage again updates so that you can see it. Obviously, when they start updating their profiles, it'll look a bit more um, customized. We'll go back to the locker um, and we'll look at something a bit different next, which is how do we start to curate our own content? Okay, so we've, we've looked at how to create and uh, edit teams. One thing I should actually show you quickly before I, I leave the Teams um, demo is if we go in and we've decided that actually they've moved to a different team, then we can remove them as well. Hit remove and that player will disappear from my team. So if they move to other teams within the clubs, you, you don't actually lose them as, um, as members, but they don't uh, clutter up your team.
because they're in there. Okay, so the next next piece of uh, video that we're going to look at is going to be.